we are here in the state of New York today enjoying the fall foliage. And in honor of the fall foliage, we are going to be choosing from one of four colors today. Red, orange, yellow, or green. And don't worry if two of them jump out for you, that's fine to choose more than one. That's red, orange, yellow, or green. And if you're new to the Joycast, all you need to do is choose one that pops out at you first. So you're using your intuition, you're playing with your intuition. This isn't something serious, just play with it. Be very play playful and light about it. And then notice which one kind of pops out at you. It may not be your favorite color. That's not how it works. Just notice the one that has the strongest imprint for you. So it's not by accident that these colors that we chose also correspond with the first four chakras. Chakras being spinning wheels or vortexes of energy that correspond with parts of our bodies. And there's particular messages in our bodies in each of these places. That's my dog. We are just working with the first four chakras and these are the first chakras that, that really ground us on the earth, especially the first three. And then the heart is, is in the middle of this. The green chakra is the heart one in the very middle, which connects us to source or spiritual energy, mother earth energy, God energy, however you feel comfortable naming that. It doesn't matter what you call it, but it's that con connection to all that is. But today there's also, sometimes we can be very much connected to all that is, but not be rooted in our lives and the everyday. So these first three chakras and the fourth one is also really root us in the here and now on the earth, in our walk on the earth. So if you chose the color red, this one is all about vibrancy. You'll notice when you're looking at the red leaves. Some years there aren't as many red leaves just because of the way the seasons go and the climate. But if you've chosen red, you are very vibrant. And we all have vibrancy, but you are like a sparkle of a person. But there may be something around the root chakra, that's our first base chakra, that is preventing you from being as vibrant as you could be. Root chakra issues are all about feeling safe and secure in the world and also our sense of belonging. It's our connection to family. It can be related to mother and father energy. So I would suggest to you if this one's come up, is there anything, any forgiveness that needs to happen with your mother or your father, whether they're alive or cross? And so you also may be thinking, oh, I've already dealt with this issue. I don't need to revisit it. But here in Earth School, we do need to revisit and revisit and revisit the lessons that are offered to us. And the greatest part of that is that when we revisit, we come back with a new awareness. So anytime something cycles around that was an old thing that you thought you dealt with, it doesn't mean that you didn't deal with it. You're just dealing with it now in a new way. And that's okay. The other sense that I'm getting around the red color, for those of you who chose it, is a sense of longing for something. So what I'm going to suggest to you that your dreams, you've got light, nice loud water, and a puppy. You want to say hi, Luna? This is Luna. Um, I'm going to suggest to you that this longing that you have um, is okay, but you want to focus on that which you actually have in this moment as opposed to focusing on which has not yet come to be. Your wishes and your dreams are important and they will manifest, but divine timing says that we don't always get to choose when that happens. So patience is a key to this message. And so the affirmation for this one for you is, I am safe, I belong, and I am whole and complete as I am. That's it for you, Red. So for those of you that chose the color orange, this corresponds to the second chakra, which is right underneath the navel, and it is the sacral chakra, and it's all about flowing through change, flowing from one thing to the next thing. It's a very watery kind of chakra because we are meant to, in our lives, experience lots and lots of changes, and sometimes we can get very stuck and not want to flow from one thing to the next because we get attached and that's normal. And isn't it interesting that the fall foliage is a representation of change itself. It's like the color is like, hello, the seasons are changing. Um, there's
there's less daylight and so the trees respond and the trees are such a symbol of our connection to being earthly beings and the first three especially but the four, fourth chakra as well are all about being in a body being on the physical earth and so this idea that the trees embody all of these colors that really are colors of change means that this is part of our work here is to embrace change and allow it to flow in and out of our, our lives as it's meant to. Now this doesn't mean change for the sake of change or change just because we're bored or throwing things away that don't mean something to us, um, but it does mean uh, flowing through the things that we sometimes resist. I'm also getting a message for any of you that are parents with kids leaving the nest that it's accepting the changes that your children are going through and knowing that they are on the right path even if it looks like they're off course somehow. They are on the right path. And so the affirmation for you if you've chosen orange is I am in flow or I trust the flow of life. For those of you that chose yellow, this represents the third chakra, which is just above the navel, and it's the solar plexus chakra, and it corresponds with the sun, also a fiery color, but the fire of the sun, getting things done, using your willpower and your self-discipline to be able to um, make your life happier and more fulfilling. This yellow chakra also has a message about pleasure and indulgence, and it's okay to indulge. And, but if it's becoming more of an addiction, we can be addicted to lots of things like substances, but also um, food, relationships. We can be addicted to praise. We can be addicted to certain kinds of attention. So whatever that might be for you, we can be addicted to money too, um, whatever, or power. Whatever that might be for you, just noticing that, is it coming from a place of ego or is it something that your soul craves? And there's a very different feeling. It's almost like when your ego is craving something, you can never get enough. It never feels like enough. It never fills up that need. So just asking yourself, is there something you could use your willpower a little bit in order to curb a tendency of some kind? Yellow also corresponds with the color gold and these golden leaves in the fall foliage um, remind us about our wisdom and so you are so wise you have the ability and the will to make shifts when they're ready to be made. So your affirmation if you chose yellow is I am wise, I am powerful and my will is in alignment with divine will. If you chose the color green, this is the heart chakra, right at the heart center of the body. And so this is a place of love, of compassion, of knowing your connection to all things. Green is also a color of summer and we're talking about autumn today, but if you've chose green, it's almost like you are still in the relaxation of summer a little bit and that is amazing because what it means is that you are able to give and I'm, I'm sensing giving that you are giving more right now, but not in a sort of obligatory way. You're giving with a sense of ease and relaxation, not out of obligation. You're just flowing um, with helpfulness toward others and you're quite enjoying that. There's a relaxed pace to it. So if you're feeling that, that is right. That is great. And we can give more when we're in a relaxed state rather than giving from a frenetic place. Uh, green color is also associated with love and this love that you have, there is someone else in the world that really is feeling a connection to you right now and you might not even realize how strong that is, but that person is sending out a vibe or a signal toward you of love and um, connection. So you may be thinking about someone and it is time if you are thinking about someone in particular to reach out to that person because um, they're also thinking about you. So if you chose green, the affirmation for you is all my relationships are in harmony at this time and I give and receive love freely. Thank you for joining me on the Joycast today and I also want to say a special thank you to you for your comments and feedback that you've been sending about how the Joycast has impacted your life. I so, so appreciate that. Much, much gratitude for that. And thank you also for sharing the Joycast with your friends. And I wish you a beautiful day.